Boto is a character of limitless potential, and due to that limitless potential, we can attribute certain powers and abilities to a future version of his character. And in most cases, it'll make sense, since Boto indeed won the genetic lottery, along with of course being the lead protagonist. So today I want to talk about one of those insane abilities Boto might use later on in the timeline. Now as the video title suggests, that ability is the Jogan Chakra Mode. You see, we have to remember that Boto, just like Himawari, is the child of Naruto and Hinata. What this means is that just like Himawari, Boto now possesses the chakra of Hamura and Hagoromo Otsutsuki, which was hinted at by Kurama in chapter 10. This makes perfect sense since Naruto is a direct descendant of Hagoromo through being an Uzumaki, who are cousins of the Senju and descendants of Ashura Otsutsuki, the son of Hagoromo Otsutsuki. And then you have Hinata, who is a part of the Hyuga clan who are descendants of Hamura Otsutsuki himself. Now the reason why this is relevant to Boruto awakening this new power is because it's established in universe that you can awaken the chakra of the parent by combining the chakra of their children. This is why you awaken Hagoromo's chakra thus awakening Hagoromo's renegon by combining the chakra of his two sons Ashura and Indra. Now this is partly because the sons inherited half of Hagoromo's power individually. Ashura inherited the physical prowess or top tier physical stamina while Indra inherited the powerful chakra and dojutsu based abilities. So basically combining those two bloodlines produces Hagoromo's renegon. And this is actually the same concept Teneri used to awaken the Tensaigon. Now some viewers or fans of the series still believe that Teneri is an actual full blooded Otsutsuki. So they believe that Teneri awakened the Tensaigon by combining the chakra of his Otsutsuki cells with the Byakugan of a Hyuga from the planet. Now the reason why this obviously doesn't make sense is because the members of the Hyuga are just as much Otsutsuki as Toneri for the most part. That's because Toneri is just a descendant of Hamura and so are the members of the Hyuga clan. The only difference is that one branch of Hamura's bloodline remained on the moon, thus becoming the moon branch, while the other side descended to the planet, thus creating the Hyuga clan. So the members of the moon branch are only called Otsutsuki because that's the name of the clan itself, because Hamura was was an Otsutsuki, or at least half Otsutsuki. So he named the clan on the moon the Otsutsuki clan. That doesn't mean that Toneri is now somehow more Otsutsuki. He's just a descendant of Hamura just like Hinata. And the funny part is that Toneri is also the same age as Hinata as confirmed in Naruto the Last. So even if you wanted to argue that Toneri's blood is just less diluted than Hinata's, that wouldn't even work since he's the same age, which means he's just as much diluted. So the more logical reasoning as to why Toneri awakened the Tensaigon is simply that he combined the chakra of the moon branch with the branch from Earth, which awakened Hamura's full chakra. So, similar to how you can combine the chakra of Hagoromo's two sons, Ashra and Indra, to awaken Hagoromo's chakra, thus awakening Hagoromo's dojutsu, which is the renegon, the same should apply to Hamura. If Hamura also had two sons and one remained on the planet, thus creating the Hyuga clan lineage, and one remained on the moon, thus creating the moon branch, then combining the chakra of those two sons should awaken Hamura's chakra. So all Teneri did was to take the eye of someone from the Hyuga clan and implanted it into his own eye socket, thus synchronizing the chakra he possessed from his side of the bloodline with the chunk of someone from the other side of the bloodline, which would be Hanabi. And trust me when I say that this is all relevant to the topic of the video because this is what led to Teneri awakening the Tensai God, which allowed him to use the Tensai God chakra mode. So keep that in mind. Now let's switch back to Boruto for a second. We know that Boruto has the Jogan and Teneri is directly linked to the Dojutsu in some way, shape or form. Mostly since it's directly implied in the story itself or even directly stated by Urashiki himself that Teneri did something to Boruto for him to awaken a new power or ability. Now how Teneri was able to do this to Boruto hasn't been revealed as yet but it's heavily implied that Teneri did something to him to trigger its awakening. So Boruto himself didn't awaken the Jogan purely based on his his genetic bloodline, which is a mixture of Hamura and Hagoromo's chakra within his body. Now I did make a video a few months ago explaining why I believe that what Teneri did to Boruto was to implant Shibai's cells into his body. And just a reminder, Shibai is a new Otsutsuki that was recently introduced into Boruto's manga, and is stated to have attained so much power that he ascended to a higher dimension. It's also implied that Shibai became the Otsutsuki god which was shown to have multiple Jogans. But just to be clear here, this is not confirmed that this is indeed Shibai. But let's say Shibai does have a Jogan based on what was described. Why do I believe that Toneri implanted his cells into Boruto's body? Well that's mostly due to when Boruto goes into his Boruto state. That includes the 
dojutsu and basically a horn sticking from the top of his forehead. Now I have made a video on this specific topic before but it's relevant here so we're gonna go over it again. So as you know Kawaki's Otsutsuki state normally manifests Ishiki's exact horn placement and horn design but that was never the case for Boruto. If you take a proper look at Boruto's and Momoshiki's horn they look nothing alike in either forms but why is that the case when Kawaki's horn looks very similar to Ishiki's? Well the only thing that would make sense is if the horn itself was under the genetic influence of another Otsutsuki and that's where Taneri comes in. I believe that Taneri implanted Shibai's cells into Boruto's body which is what triggered the Jogan manifestation along with Kaguya's chakra that has manifested within Boruto. Now the reason why Shibai makes perfect sense is because Boruto's horn when he goes into his Borushiki state looks exactly like Shibai's. That's really all it is. Now that aside I also mentioned that Boruto also has Kaguya's chakra and this is mainly based on the precedent established in Naruto which is that combining the chakra of someone's children should awaken the chakra of the parent. This happened with Haguromo's chakra and appears to have happened with Hamura's chakra as well. So this should be the same for Kaguya and her children who are obviously Hamura and Haguromo. So Naruto by being Haguromo's descendant and also receiving Haguromo's chakra in the fourth great war naturally passed this genetic data along with a lot of power to Boruto. The same can also be said for Hinata passing Hamura's chakra since she's a direct descendant of Hamura. So both of these chakras are combining within the children of Naruto and Hinata. So that should also lead to Kage's chakra being awakened, in theory. Now when I initially said this in the original video, the counter was that or the main counter is that just because it happened with Hagoromo's sons, it doesn't mean that it would happen with Hagoromo and his brother, which is true. But based on what was mentioned in chapter 10 with Koroma specifically pointing out the combination of the two bloodlines, I would say it's more likely than not. Now let's move on to the Jogan chakra mode and just to be clear here, this is a theory, but I believe that the Tensai Gon is just a higher tiered Byakugan, which is heavily implied in Naruto. Now I would also take it a step further to say that the Jogan is also another tier to the Byakugan that's also above the Tensai Gan. And by the way the Jogan isn't a new eye to the series specific to Boruto because Urashiki recognized the Dojutsu and called it a Jogan and so did Momoshiki which means that there are other Otsutsukis that possess this Dojutsu. By the way this is also backed up by Momoshiki saying that Boruto carries the Byakugan blood or that he strongly inherited the powers of the Otsutsuki. This implies that the base element itself is the Byakugan and everything else is just a mutation. Now obviously I'm saying all of this because I want to establish a link between the Byakugan, the Tensai Gan and the Jogan which would then inform Boruto also possessing a Jogan chakra mode similar to a Tensai Gan user possessing a Tensai Gan chakra mode. Because look at it this way right? If a Sharingan user awakens the Susano by awakening the Mangekyo Sharingan, they don't then lose the Susano by awakening the eternal Mangekyo Sharingan or awakening the Renegon. So let's say Boruto is using the Jogan which is a higher form of the Tensai Gan. This means that Boruto should also have a chakra mode which derives from his Jogan instead. It should also be stronger as well since the Jogan is more powerful than the Tensai Gan. And to be honest to me it doesn't really matter if Boruto awakens a Jogan chakra mode or even a Susanoo construct that he's able to manipulate around his body. It could be either one and it wouldn't bother me in the slightest. And by the way this would also link back to whatever Kishimoto showed in his fan art about Boruto having this chakra mode and people initially thought that it would have been in a Koroma chakra mode. But since Imawari has that power at this point in time, it doesn't look like Boruto is gonna get Koroma. It wouldn't make sense, right? So I think that form is actually a Jogan chakra mode instead. But we'll have to wait and see. And just to clarify for the guys out there, this is just a theory. This is me taking the evidence from the story and putting it together to give my thoughts on why I believe that this is possible. This isn't me confirming everything I've said in this video is what's going to happen. With that said, the analysis I've given is based on the events of the actual show itself and what is stated based on how chakra works in Naruto. So it truly depends on whether the writer wants to go this route. I've always said this, but a lot of things can happen in Boruto. Jutsus can be used in multiple creative ways. It just depends on if that's what the writer wants. Now going back to something I said before, I should have said this earlier, but you can remove the Shiba element from the theory and it would still work since it's also possible that Kaguya is a descendant of Shibai. 
If that is the case, it would make sense for Boruto to manifest features similar to the ones he possess, which would be done through recessive inheritance. Then again, the horn itself could just be a combination of Kaguya's Momshiki's and Kinshiki's horns, coming together to form this new one. The logic would track since Boruto is a descendant of Kaguya, which means that he has her genes within his body to some degree, which again links back to Momshiki saying that he strongly inherited the powers of Yotsuzuki, which would of course be Kaguya. Now it is likely that Kawaki came from the lineage of people who just received Chaka from Hagoromo, which would simply mean that he doesn't possess the Otsutsuki gene. So that would explain why he wouldn't exhibit any genetic changes such as the shape of his horn. With that said, that's it for the theory guys. Do you guys think this is plausible? Do you think Boruto will get the Jogan chakra mode? Or do you think Kishimoto is just going to abandon the idea of Boruto having a chakra mode, which he himself hinted at? So this theory isn't just something I'm pulling from, you know, the rectum or whatever. It's legit something that Kishimoto teased. Now, of course, he didn't specifically say the Jogan chakra mode, but he did hint at Boruto getting a chakra mode. And the Jogan is more likely since Boruto doesn't have Kurma. And who would want Boruto and Himawari to be using the same powers, right? That would be that would be lame. So of course Boruto has to have something different. But we'll see. A lot of Boruto fans are not a fan of the chakra mode thing for some reason. I don't understand why, but you know it is what it is. But let me know your thoughts down below. Drop a like if you like the video and subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out.